All right, so I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to use the Mesa Structural Stress Analyzer 1000. Uh, so here are some of the tools that you're going to need in order to be able to use the bridge crusher. First, you're going to need the power cord. Looks like this. It's currently already plugged in, and there is an outlet behind this bridge crusher that you just plug into the back, and that'll give it power. You will need an Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is used to adjust the sliding sides depending on the bridge competition. Uh, we crush two types of bridges during Mesa Day, the civil structures and stick together, so we have to adjust them depending on the length of the bridge. Uh, you will need these white blocks. Uh, there really wasn't a way around getting this really small, thin block. Some of these bridges um, are allowed to have a longer span than this black block, and so we've had these white blocks, depending on the competition, these are specifically for civil structures. You can see they're, they're flush, so that the bridge can fit through here and still have a little bit of space to move around. Uh, the second thing is that you have a secondary set of blocks as well, and these are used primarily for the stick together competition. And we usually duct tape them, good old trusty duct tape, so that the blocks themselves don't move during the competition. You want to get nice solid blocks on there. In a situation such as this, where this bridge was too low and it may impede and it's sitting on the actual structure, we also tape. Can you do that, do that again so I can get a close shot? So, situation like this where this particular bridge is sitting on the, you can see that it's sitting on the actual structure, it's not actually sitting on the legs, you have to have a second set of blocks as well. These are the stick together blocks that you would also use on the top here. You'll tape them down, make sure that they didn't move, that they're nice and sturdy, and now you'd be ready to crush a bridge of this type because it it will be able to sit on the blocks instead of this apparatus which of course you never want to sit on this apparatus because it'll never get crushed uh, there's so small distance for this to travel that it wouldn't allow this bridge to be crushed the second thing that you want to do when you're loading a bridge in a situation like this is we have a wing nut on this side here that adjusts from the back side. Right. You want to pull this out. And you want to adjust this on a hole which is as close as possible to being almost on top of the bridge. So this particular bridge is pretty low, but there's a hole right above it. And I imagine that with the plate on it, it will fit that particular section. Just about. So you want to find the hole that's the closest to being right on top of the bridge so that when you do start crushing it, it starts from the most top portion so it doesn't have to travel very far to start crushing the bridge. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine and we'll do a practice crush on this particular bridge. This bridge is ready to be crushed. Um, so as you can see, it already has the plate underneath it. I've already set this to the distance that's ready to go. Um, you have the wing nut on here. You, it doesn't need to be tight. just needs to make sure that it's not going to get loose. And then, of course, let's talk about the modes here on the actual stress analyzer. Um, the first thing it's going to tell you is that the safety cover is not in place. So you want to make sure that this cover comes all the way down here. And sits in these two spots. At that point, then the bridge crutch will say, press start to begin the cycle. So you'll press this button once and this will start moving down. When it's done crushing it, it'll allow you to look at the actual weight and then you'll press the button and it'll go back to its original state. So we're going to go ahead and do a test crush before we start with the civil structure. And so this bridge is already going down and you can see the pounds of force on this particular bridge as it's being pulled down. You can start to hear that the bridge is failing. And we will crush this bridge until the maximum force is exceeded. So it failed.
and now it'll go back up. And so you want to make sure that we're tracking the amount of pounds that the bridge is crushing.